Now I'm a fan of Yuri. From something adorably cute like Sakura Trick, to deeply introspective like Bloom Into You, to intensely melodramatic like Citrus, there's something great about girls being very supportive of each other. However, there's a difference between being codependent and truly supporting one another. There has to be that balance. Otherwise, you get a one-sided, unhealthy relationship where things won't end well. Especially in anime, where 100% of things can and will go horribly wrong. In this particular visual novel review, we'll talk about two very close twin sisters who harbor feelings stronger than mere sisterly love. Welcome to the August Hale, and I want to help you find something great to read and experience. So today, we are going to be taking a look at Sisterly Bliss. Don't let mom find out. Sisterly Bliss tells a story about two twin sisters, Ichika and Futaba, that are so close together that it even surprises their friends and family at times. While the two have widely different personalities, the pair are considered inseparable, making up for each other's faults. But one day, their mother tries to separate them for being too dependent on each other, and with this, the two sisters' relationship starts to change. And it's up to you, the reader, to give a happy ending for these two loving sisters. There are choices throughout the visual novel that will affect the relationship between Ichika and Futaba and how their love for each other will progress. This is shown through a status bar that shows the relationship balance between the two characters. Depending on the decisions that you make throughout the story, the meter will move towards the character that is based on the decision that you chose, and depending on where the meter is, will affect which of the four endings that you will get. It's simple in this manner, to see what those decisions will ultimately result in, either turning out very wholesome or very unnerving. For such a short visual novel, I appreciate the simplistic minimalism with its production. The background CGs invoke a warm, comforting atmosphere with the visual novel's plentiful usage of orange gradients and softer art style. I also appreciate the UI design. It's simple, easy to configure, intuitive, and oh my god, I just love how clean this backlog looks. Great use of contrast, easy to read, simple to scroll through, and very little external distractions. Personally, while there isn't anything wrong with the character sprites, I do think they could have been more expressive and varied in terms of poses. Most specifically, Ichika, as I feel that her expression rarely changes, always showing off that smile. That damn smile. That damn smile. Nothing to say much about the music itself, the OST contains slice-of-life atmospheric songs that are commonplace in school visual novels. Other particular highlights are the solo melodic piano that plays during the emotional bits between the two, and a couple of particular songs that are effective in tone changes. The story often changes perspective between the two girls and shows us each of their troubled thoughts and mindsets when it comes to their relationship. Ichika is diligent and responsible as the big sister, looking out for and helping Futaba. She does love Futaba, but is reserved in her feelings. She's largely serious about the social implications of their relationship. She does understand the reasoning that her mother has about the two of them, but her feelings go farther than that, going further beyond mere sisterly love. Throughout her perspective, the story vocalizes her thoughts and feelings. She's the most in denial about her feelings as we get to see by her direct actions in response to her mother's criticism. And it's a valid criticism, as Ichika's caretaking love might be a detriment to Futaba's growth. So it's up to Futaba and her friends to help reassure Ichika and help her through this process of eurification. The writers really nail Futaba's personality here. Energetic and clumsy, but instinctively passionate and honest with her feelings. There's something great to admire about characters that move based off of instinct and emotion, as their raw passion makes them very attractive. Futaba is the most upfront with her feelings compared to Ichika and is the driving force for the plot. I appreciate this because compared to moping around like other Yuri shows, the visual novel wastes no time getting right into the main conflict. And once this conflict is resolved, like with most Yuri visual novels, we are treated to some wholesome and steamy fun between the two of them before the visual novel concludes happily. Now remember what I said about there has to be a good balance in relationship, otherwise things can go horribly wrong? Well, the visual novel treats us to this hypothetical situation as it explores the idea more in depth, ominously. Strangely enough, these particular story developments are surprisingly interesting and are just as long as the normal endings. I can understand some people might be turned off by these particular endings, but the stark contrast in tone and dark, abnormal direction that these routes decide to take makes Sisterly Bliss stand out in the crowd of rose-colored Yuri visual novels. In conclusion, Sisterly Bliss is a nice addition to the Yuri visual novel library 
in which we have two sisters exploring a more intimate relationship beyond just being family, showing the ample amounts of care and love needed to support one another, not unrequisited or one-sided, but as a collaborative duo. That said, the visual novel does explore those one-sided relationships, dramatically changing the direction to provide an interesting and dark contrast of what could happen. I give Sisterly Bliss a 3 out of 5 with a seal of approval. It's a short visual novel that could have been expanded more in story and conflict, but it accomplished what it wanted to highlight in its short time.